Good morning guys, another video packed with information. Yes, I have a question for you, but you need to watch the video. I am going to talk about the Bitcoin price. I'm going to do it different now. I'm going to start at the monthly, going to take it to the weekly, going to take it to the daily, to the four hour and to the one hour chart. I am going to show you what on-chain metrics are telling us. I'm also explaining you what on-chain metrics are. We are going to talk about a beautiful fractal that is found by Bitcoin Jack Sparrow, probably on a beautiful beach below a beautiful palm tree on a white beach. I am going to tell you which beautiful combo is going to lead to the next uptrend. And I'm also going to talk guys about the Pentagon now creating a game where the Generation Z is taking over the world by using Bitcoin. If you want to see this news, start watching this amazing video again from this amazing location on Koh Phangan, Thailand. Have fun guys! Good morning guys, on this amazing day again here on Koh Phangan, Thailand. Let's jump into my office. Yes, my office is the beach in front of my house here in Koh Phangan. And for the new followers, I record most of my videos on this beautiful part of Copagan, just in front of my house. But like two or three times a week, I take you to other beaches, I take you to temples, I take you to the jungle, just to talk about crypto and the news and life while discovering these beautiful areas of Copagan. Just scroll through uh, the old videos and you will see that I uh, already discovered amazing places and I will discover some beautiful places this week again for you guys. Maybe we can make a game out of it. Let's do this. Let's make a poll. Tomorrow I'm going to discover a new place. Would you like me to discover or a beautiful beach or the jungle somewhere or a beautiful culture event like a temple or anything like this? Let me know. I have this goal guys of making my videos a little bit shorter like 15 minutes that it's more watchable for you guys and you don't need to spend so much time watching my um, face <laughs> every day but I just talk too much mostly maybe I should cut up the videos in two let me know if you prefer the videos about 20 minutes or if you would prefer 12 minutes you will be helping me tremendously with making my decision on what kind of videos to make next couple of weeks. Let's talk Bitcoin guys, let's talk about the Bitcoin price. Today I'm going to use some beautiful charts made by Keith Waring. I like the guy, I met him a few times, he's a good trader, he's a good TA and uh, he's just a good positive guy who's also maybe selling his house for Bitcoins and that's what I like. Today we start with zooming completely out to the monthly chart, then we will take it to the weekly chart, then we will take it to the day chart, then I will take it to the four hour chart and I will even take it to the one hour chart to show you how that these time frames all work together. If we look at the monthly chart guys, you know I made a video that we needed to close the last month above 9360 which we did which is very positive at the moment if you look at the Fibonacci retracement you can see we are hovering around this 0.3 level and um, this is a level we have been hovering around now for some time the target guys is the 0.5 Fibonacci retracement level just watch the chart so you can see what I mean. This level is around 11,900. This is a target if you look at the monthly chart. But please understand, we still need to break this 10,500 level, which we haven't succeeded yet in the last three attempts. But keep watching the video and I will show you what is happening now under smaller time frames. If you already like this monthly view, then already hit this thumbs up button. Give this video already a like now, because that is what YouTube loves and I love it as well. I can see your appreciation of the content I am creating every day in these beautiful beaches, temples, jungles, or any other place. In contradictionary that I say always zoom out in crypto, I'm taking a different approach now. We are zooming in. We, take, we had the monthly, now we are going into the weekly chart. If we look at the weekly chart, we can see this beautiful ascending channel going up. And if you look at this channel, you can see the midpoint of the channel is exactly the 10,500. The bottom of the channel is around 9,000. And the top of the channel, guys, is, you can guess it already, 11,900. Do these numbers sound familiar to, the, to you? Yes, we talked about these numbers exactly also on the monthly chart. So even when we zoom in, again, the 9K support 
and the 11,900 target and the 10,500 midline are the main things to watch in this beautiful ascending channel that will take us slowly to the mini moon <laughs> around 12k and if we are able on the weekly chart to break this 11,900 level we will have a new target of about 13,900 which is the Fibonacci retracement of 0.6 on the monthly chart so you can see they all collide with each other it's not just independent charts it's just the way how you look at it in the long term or in the short term as a trader but they all work together all these lines make sense if you learn to read them I try to simplify them as much as possible but even I sometimes have difficulties with simplifying this difficult stuff which is called TA we could also break the support line so if we would break the support line we could fall all the way down to 7600 which is the level of 0.2 Fibonacci retracement so also here again we can see what the next support would be if it comes to the Fibonacci retracement tool let's zoom a little bit more in no that was not an effect created the eye movie that was just my hand moving closer to my face Nah, because we are leaving this weekly chart now and we are going closer into the charts we are now going to the daily chart if you look at this daily chart you can um, exactly see what we mean with breaking 10,500 ish you see this beautiful resistance line up there the thick one that one is the level of 10,500 but you can also see the uptrend line this is the line coming from under and slowly moving upwards since March this is an uptrend since March and you can see that this triangle these two lines are forming the upper line and this line this is getting now to the end of the triangle and what happens mostly at the end of a triangle at the end of a triangle mostly there is a breakout and the breakout can be upwards or the breakout can be downwards I think we are going to break upwards and we are going to go for these next targets of the Fibonacci retracement so that would be like 10,500 break 11,200 700 and then even you know maybe take it to 13,900 so we have a double top of 14k because that was the beautiful high we saw last year this is what I think will we, what will happen but be aware we can also break down guys and then we will go back to the 7k level or even maybe the 6k level like we showed you in the last few videos already so if you want to see how deep we can fall then watch the last videos why do I think that that is not going to happen guys you know if you just look uh, at all the charts and everything that is happening now and if you look at the stock to flow chart and if you zoom out and you look at what happened at the last two halvings then we can see what the probability is of a next bull run and for me the probability of having a next bull run is bigger than the probability of having a next crash so I just stay positive my glass is always half full and is not too many times half empty in my life and um, I am always prepared for what is going to happen like I said yesterday you can use your experience in trusting the indicators and if you start to trust and feel these indicators you can kind of predict what is going to happen like we said yesterday the moon is an indicator for the low tide on Copangan if we are nearing the full moon we know it will be the biggest low tide as you see again on the back so this you know this is just getting this feeling for something and believing something but also always being prepared for this dip so you can buy a little bit more Bitcoin you can see this buying pressure at 9500 if you look at this chart you can see this thick white area below the 9500 this is the order book and this order book shows us where the most bitcoins are being accumulated at the moment and we can see on the other times we've had this thick area of white lines in the order book we saw a run up we are seeing this order book thick line thing again so which also confirms to me that not many people are selling but many people are buying around 9,500 so we are gathering our friends to become one big army that is going to, to break this 10,500 wall just compare it with Trump that's want to send 10,000 soldiers to disrupt all the protests 
Yes, you know, that's what we need to do. We need to send 10,000 of soldiers to break the 10,500 resistance now we see on the chart. Let's zoom a little bit more in. Let's take it to the four hours charts. On the four hour chart, you can see the support around 9,200 and 9,400 levels. But you can also see that we have been creating higher lows and lower highs for the last five days. In general, this means we will continue the uptrend. What does this mean, guys? I won't simplify it again. Higher lows means that we have seen a higher low wick every time again in the last five days. And lower highs is that we can say that we've seen a lower high every time in the last couple of days. These indicators indicate that we are going to continue the uptrend. If we would lose the 0.2 Fibonacci level, then the next week's outlook could be a little bit different. But that's, you know, we are now looking at the four hour chart. So let's see, I don't think we are going to bring this 0.2 uh, level and uh, we are going to just slowly climb up a little bit higher and higher and higher. Let's zoom a little bit more in now. We are going to zoom into the one hour chart. In the one hour chart, guys, we can see the bullish divergence. If we see a downtrend in the price and if we see an uptrend in the MACD, this is what we call bullish divergence. You will see a breakout and the breakout is mostly upwards. So the hour chart is also showing us that we are going to go up. But guys, I don't know what time you're watching this video. So maybe we already saw the upwards movement. So be aware if you talk about small time frames, check the time this video was posted because else you might get very confused because then maybe it already happened. But is there more that we can look at besides of the charts guys? We can also look at the on-chain metrics. That one is really cool because of all the transparency of the blockchain and cryptocurrency, we can easily calculate the numbers and then we can make our conclusions of these calculations. A few of these on-chain metrics are telling us the dip is over. One of these metrics is the MPI, the Miner's Position Index. This metric shows if miners are willing to sell their Bitcoins that they are mining or are they not selling their Bitcoins they are mining. If you look at this chart, you can see that the MPI at the moment is minus 0.59. This is telling us that the miners are not that eager to sell their Bitcoins. If this MPI would be around 2 or like between 1.5 and 2 in the positive area or even above 2, then miners are selling all the Bitcoins they are mining daily. Last all-time low we saw was of the 2nd of June. We were even at minus 0.79 but we are still below zero a other metric we can see guys is that the reserve of the crypto exchange is at an all-time low a other on-chain metric we can see is guys that the exchange bitcoin reserves are at a record low point we are around 2.3 million bitcoins that is currently held on exchanges but if you look at the graph you can see that there was a huge decline of the reserves of cryptocurrency exchanges which means that people are now extracting their bitcoins from the exchanges probably into their hardware wallets if we're talking about withdrawing your bitcoins into wallets brings me to the next point of the video because on-chain metrics has also showed us that only six million of bitcoins are kept in multi-signature wallets so only six million bitcoins of the 18 million bitcoins that's like 30 percent is kept in multi-signature wallets uh, Didi, what is a multi-signature wallet? I'm going to sit on my chair to explain you this. Multi-signature wallet is a Bitcoin wallet. Multiple signatures are needed to send your Bitcoins. So in a normal Bitcoin wallet, I just push send and I send my Bitcoins to one of my friends over there, Chris, for example, who owned the crowbar for many years, but now is in lockdown in Sweden. No, Sweden doesn't have a lockdown, but he is, in, he is in Sweden and he cannot come back into Thailand because Thailand has still his border closed. But then I just send my Bitcoins directly to him. That is a single signature wallet. If I have a multi-signature wallet and I want to send my Bitcoin to Chris, 
I need to ask the people that I gave the right to sign this transaction together with me, I need to ask them permission to send them. So for example, in my situation, oh man, I want to send one Bitcoin to Chris. Oh shit, my wife needs to sign as well because she wants to have a little bit control on our capital as well. So I need to go to my wife and tell her, we are going to send one Bitcoin now to Chris. Can you please go sign um, this transaction for me? Because we need like, for example, two of the three um, signatures to can to be able to send it. Why do we have these multi-signature wallets? Uh, one of the things that happened in the past is Mt. Gox, as you know, a lot of people lost their Bitcoins there. So mostly bigger companies will use the multi-signature uh, wallets. Why? Because they don't want to have a risk of holding a lot of Bitcoins of other people's, like an exchange has holds a lot of Bitcoins of other people's. And they don't want to have the risk that one employee can just send the Bitcoin away. They, he needs to ask these other guys to sign it with them, to co-sign this transaction. Without anybody helping him, he's not able to send it. So this protects the funds of other people that are held by a third party organization. If you analyze this, you could probably say that the 6 million Bitcoins that are held in multi-signature wallets are probably owned by bigger institution or companies because they would require this multi-signature wallet because they have a lot of responsibilities to the people of which they hold the bitcoins so of the 18 million bitcoins out there six million are probably held by huge companies exchanges funds and all that stuff and the other 12 million bitcoins are probably held by by the retail investors like you and me guys of course, you want to know what, uh, which wallets are multi-signature wallets. As far as I know, we have Coinbase, we have Green Address, we have Bitcoin.com, we have Armory, we have Xapo. These kind of wallets are all supporting uh, multi-signature. So if we combine all these facts, so we can see that the exchanges don't have that many Bitcoins as a reserve anymore. We can see the miners are not selling their Bitcoins at the moment. And we can also see this huge interest from institutional investors in buying Bitcoins. So the demand is growing. The supply is decreasing, which in my opinion will always lead to an uptrend. These are the unchained metrics you can look at and then you can see that this will probably create an uptrend for Bitcoin because if nobody is selling and everybody wants to buy, this will drive the prices up. I'm not going to reach this 10 minute videos. Fuck it. I'm going to do a longer video. I love to make these long videos, but if you don't like to watch them because they are too long, just let me know in the comments because I want to give you guys what you want. An online friend of mine that I was all supposed to meet here on this beautiful island of Copangan is called Bitcoin Jack Sparrow. Um, you can see on his Twitter, he's a TA trader as well. We should have met, but because of the COVID and all that stuff, sadly we didn't meet. So next time, Jack, um, we will meet hopefully on a beautiful beach because you are Jack Sparrow. You should be on a beautiful beach here with the palm trees. But Jack just found a beautiful fractal that is showing us that Bitcoin will reach 14K in the next six weeks. Are we again talking about a fractal that happened in gold like yesterday? No, today we are talking about a fractal that, that appeared in Bitcoin. And when was this fractal? Was in 2016, another year of a halvening. So this fractal is coming closer to what I believe that could happen because it happened in the same asset, Bitcoin in 2016 in the same situation where we saw a halvening so if you look at the chart that he created you can see the colorful um, candles which is the current candles but you can also see the red ones like a little bit transparent through them and these red ones are the fractal we saw in 2016 so if we would keep following this pattern because the fractal is a repeating of a pattern we already saw if we would keep following this pattern we would be in at 14k bitcoin in the next six weeks a very bullish outlook thank you jack for spotting this beautiful fractal and sharing it with the crypto community see you somewhere in the future somewhere on a white beach below a palm tree with a pirate head and a beer so we can create a pirate song together for the bitcoin community i just read some news that the pentagon created now a game where generation z is in the uprise against the governments 
because there was a huge financial crash and there was a huge happening that, and that made the people rebellious and in their rebellion they, tr they tried to attack the government and disrupt the system by taking the money from all these companies by robbing them digitally by hacking companies by just taking the money physically and buying bitcoins with them this is a real life situation in this ben pentagon game so even the pentagon now is afraid of bitcoin is afraid of this huge power of the community the power we can take back now to the people and use bitcoin and blockchain as beautiful tools to create this revolution that was the video for today's guys i hope you enjoyed it if you enjoyed it guys give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel hit this bell button so you'll be notified in every new video i make and please remember like i always add my video you need to zoom out in bitcoin you need to zoom in in life enjoy every single minute of the day because that is exactly what makes life worth living. I wish you an amazing day and an amazing upcoming week, guys, from Koh Phangan, Thailand. Zooming out and see you tomorrow again. Bye.